in this tutorial we'll get into SQLite. So SQLite, we want to create uh, a database. So to do so, we type SQLite three with a database name. So let's pick any any name, and I'm going to save it as a .db file. So unlike many other database systems, SQLite stores all of its data in one file. So there we go. The database is created, and we want to have a table because a table is how data is stored in, C in SQLite databases. So you cannot simply uh, insert your data at random. Uh, it needs to uh, be in a certain form, in a table form. So we start by creating a table. Uh, let's call it customers. So this is like the commands you would type. And every uh, record will have a certain ID. So just type this and we add not nil because we don't want any empty records, right? And the customer probably has a name. So now we created um, created our table. Yeah, sorry about that. But it doesn't contain anything, right? It's just an empty uh, table. Okay, so if we type dot schema customers, you get your actual uh, table structure. So it contains an, an ID, unique ID, as well as an, a name or the text of the customer. Um, and of obviously you can create other tables. Uh, for storing other types of data. So before inserting data in your database, you actually want to know what kind of data you have in order to store it in the right table. And there we go. Now we have two, two tables. Um, so two empty tables. So if you type dot tables, you actually see the, um, the tables you have in the database. So you can create uh, as many tables as you want. And every table can, um, can contain data. And so uh, if you would type a command like this, which is called a SQL query, you actually get to see the data inside uh, one of these tables. In this case, the employees table. 